Previously on In My 20s, I need to change my life. I was so nervous to post that video. I was on my computer all day reading your comments. And let me just say thank you so much for all the encouragement. So many of you guys were relating and I just felt this collective energy that we were all in this together and we were gonna take tiny steps forward. But I also sat back and was a little bit overwhelmed because what the heck am I supposed to do for episode one? Where do you even start this? And like I said, I'm a visual person so I thought we might as well map out the actual goals that I'm trying to achieve and start reading Atomic Habits so that we can go try to live these things out. I've actually already read one chapter and I can tell why people make this book their entire personality because it is so good. It feels like it's just holding a bunch of secrets to life that if you didn't have before, you feel like you just weren't even living it. The first thing that I really like is that instead of making goals, you should make systems. Cause you can make a goal and accomplish it, but then it just stops. But a system is something that you can keep doing forever. And it's also a habit. So something you can do automatically. So food has been a huge issue in my life and the root of it is because of grocery shopping. So we need to fix that system. If you want better results, then forget about setting goals. Focus on your system instead. My aunt gave me a tip. I can literally just do curbside pickup on so many different apps and so many different stores. So that's what I did. I'm in my car. I think they're just gonna bring it out to me. This is honestly luxury life. I don't even have to go in there. I feel so exposed with the open. Okay, that was luxury. I just pulled up, they put the stuff in. She told me to have a good night and I am now. Look at this. Ooh. These are ready to cook chicken breasts. I'm gonna try to cook chicken by myself because we have an air fryer, so no excuses. These are my favorite thing ever. These are at HEB, so if you live in Texas or wherever they have HEB, they have these like pre-made meals and the jumbo coconut shrimp with this sauce, it's so good. I'm heating up the oven right now to make this. Almond milk. I'm obsessed with these. Kodak dark chocolate chocolate chip muffins. So good for my cravings, but they also have protein. Oats, sugar-free syrup. Obviously, I only have one recipe on my mind and it involves oats, if you can't tell. I'm so hungry that this is literally my snack while the oven preheats before I put in the coconut shrimp for another 15 minutes and then finally get to eat it, so. little system I could start including. Even though it's a little bit ugly, we keep the vacuum in the corner because if it's stored up somewhere, then we're most likely not gonna see it and we're not gonna take it out. So we just leave it in the corner and I should have a little routine of like putting on my headphones, listen to a podcast and just doing a little tidying up at night because habits. Such dumb. This is a pile of shoes that I got out today for a TikTok, so. Headphone cleaning Haley mode activated. In the first chapter of Atomic Habits, it talks about how you're either improving by 1% every day or regressing 1% every day. And a lot of us don't choose to progress because it just feels like 1% is nothing. But then that often means we're choosing bad habits every single day. This is the sauce that with the coconut shrimp is so good. Chili sauce, it's like a sweet and sour. I'm so excited to eat this. Which means in a few years, we'll go below zero. I'm gonna watch a coming of age movie to inspire me to come of age and I felt like I was at below zero So I thought I would start doing these small things. I got groceries, which was a win I made myself dinner that night I cleaned up my space and I journaled some inspiration small things but things that would compound I think another reason I was feeling kind of down was because I was never seeing the Sun And I also just made a habit of not leaving my house and not socializing Which I feel like a lot of us can relate to isolating when we just overall don't feel confident and just get in the habit of it It just becomes hard to leave your house again for some reason. So with the weekend coming up, I really wanted to force myself to just make some plans with friends. And I did. And just look at how happy I am. It's the next day and I'm so happy <laughs> because we had a barbecue planned with friends today and then we played, what's it called? Ultimate Frisbee for like three hours. It felt like we were school kids and look, I got a sunburn. This makes me emotional because having a sunburn, it marks the calendar as like, okay, now it's summer Haley. Also, I am trying to cook a chicken breast in the air fryer right now. This could go terribly wrong. It's pre-season and I just clicked the chicken button on the air fryer. This is like literally cooking for dummies 101. So if this doesn't work, we're gonna have to keep trying, but at least I'm trying. Cause in the past I've failed and then just given up. But so far I've made plans with friends, gotten a workout in just by having fun. And now I'm trying to cook. So it's a good day. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm really nervous. It definitely looks cooked. I'd rather overcook it than undercook it my first time. I'm gonna get emotional if it's good. It's definitely a little bit overcooked. Um, why is your hair? 
You didn't see that. I might have to adjust the settings. Just clicking chicken didn't really do it. But hey, I'm eating something at home. I mean, not bad. Really not bad at all. One day I'm gonna try to cook rice with this too. One step at a time. I'm telling y'all, baby steps. I'm feeling motivated, so now I'm gonna try to make a fun snack. Um, I don't even have a cutting board for fruit, but I'm gonna watch the Grand Budapest Hotel tonight because I wanna watch, I don't know, I've been on a movie kick. I think it's because all the books I've been reading, all of the fictional characters really love movies, so now I'm kind of into movies. I'm like, ooh, they're talking about Wes Anderson. I wanna know the references, so yeah, let me make this fun little snack. The only thing is to melt this dark chocolate. I don't have coconut oil, so that might go very poorly and then you put peanut butter in between them. I always thought cooking was always going to be boring to me and I was always gonna hate it. And I was like, oh, like I have these obsessions where I wanna learn everything and do it all the time. And I was like, I wish that would happen with cooking. I always said like it never would. But I'm excited to make this right now. Like this feels so fun and it's so rewarding. Like you get to eat it after. <laughs> so who knows? I'm already seeing character growth. Oh no, one of the bananas fell. Let me try to melt this chocolate. I'm gonna do a little milk. About to get messy. Okay, this is not gonna work. There's no way. What do I do? Then you just pop them in the freezer. <laughs> Sundays are always a day of rest for me, so I went to church and then hung out with friends again, got more vitamin D, and it was so happy. But coming up was Monday, and this is where I really wanted to add everything I've been learning to my week. So, one of my favorite things so far in Atomic Habits is showing how people quit because they hit this thing called the Valley of Disappointment. But if you push through that, that's when you would hit the breaking point, and everything would just start falling into place and feeling like it's working out. Just like if you were to have an ice cube in a cold room, and you were to turn up the temperature by one degree, it wouldn't melt at 20, it wouldn't melt at 27, it would not melt at 30 or 31. It would melt at 32. And I feel like I am constantly quitting at 30. And that just motivated me so much for my week. I figured if I just focused on waking up early, eating 70% at home and getting some workouts in, this first episode would be a huge success for me. And so far I did wake up and I was on my way to groceries. Okay, so I forced myself to wake up early by ordering HEB curbs I picked up last night. And the first free spot they had was 7 to 7 30 a.m i was running like three minutes late and i genuinely didn't know what would happen if i didn't make that time slot like i don't know what they were gonna do so so nervous but i made it there at 7 33 got my food and i'm back home before 8 a.m and i already have groceries like this is crazy this solution to my problem has been huge but i'm gonna make coffee now because we didn't have creamer so i haven't made coffee yet not even eight and I have groceries put away. <laughs> crazy, this is crazy. I feel so good. I'm gonna make coffee. Am I gonna go to the gym? Guys, this would be a crazy day if I woke up at seven, got groceries before eight and went to the gym. What kind of world are we in right now? Wow. Now that I've made my coffee, I'm still really hungry, so I feel like I don't have the energy to go to the gym. So I think I'm gonna be a breakfast before gym type of person, maybe while I Bible study, which would be a good plan. Because I know some people can go to the gym on an empty stomach, but I don't think that's gonna be me. So I think this is a good plan. I'm making avocado toast. I literally don't know who I am right now, but I feel so good. We don't have a toaster yet, so I'm toasting it over the pan. <gasps> no, there's mold on the bread. No. Gross. Oh my gosh. Can I still eat the bottom pieces? Ew. I was having a productive day. Best by April 1st. Well, that's best. Right now it's gonna be okay. <gasps> so I'm not making avocado toast. Dang, I should have gotten bread. Oh man, what am I gonna do? We have a problem. First of all, I never ate these. I'm gonna retry it with the coconut oil. Second of all, there's a microwave baked oats recipe that I wanna try, but guess what? We don't have any. <laughs> you guys are gonna realize the extent of how much I needed the series when I say this. We don't have any measuring cups or measuring spoons, so I literally don't know how to make the recipe. Update, I'm gonna guess. Here's my creation so far. Oh my gosh, the consistency looks good. Yay! Here goes nothing. Oh boy. And I'm gonna make some turkey bacon. The only thing about cooking is the cleanup of it all, but I'm honestly having fun nowadays, so. I just said I'm having fun cooking. It's only episode two of the series, guys. Where are we gonna be in a few months? I'm excited for us, honestly. Okay, it's time to try my creation. I don't know if it's fully cooked. I have never eaten something that texture in my entire life. It tastes like blue. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need measuring cups. I'm gonna change for the gym. I'm gonna wear this cute little black set active set that they so graciously sent me. Okay, finished my coffee, got my set on. Let's go to the gym. I'm a little bit nervous, a lot of bit nervous. I get nervous every time still, but we gotta overcome the gym anxiety. Oh my 
my gosh. Thank goodness for masks and headphones. That was a good workout. Squat, hip thrusts. Actually, that's two compound movements that I did in a row. Oops. And then some lunges. And then I did the stair supper for 15 minutes. There was literally two other people there. Ooh. Okay, let's go home get ready for the day. After my shower, I absolutely crashed. I made another coffee. I actually just dropped off Ryan at the airport. He's gonna be gone for like a week or something. So I'm gonna be here on my lonesome, but it's a cloudy day. I swear the second it becomes cloudy, I just lose all my energy. So all that motivation and momentum I feel like has just come to a halt. I'm gonna read my book and finish it and then I'm making lunch and then we'll see if my mood brightens. How do you avoid the midday crash moots? You just take a nap when you have a crash, don't you moose? At the end of the day, I still ate Taco Bell, felt completely unmotivated out of nowhere sometimes, but I started making improvements by 1% every day, and I am so excited to keep going.